few Braves fans living in Houston, Obviously, but right? this is the part that surprised me. Mm -hmm. You may be surprised to learn this. There are no Braves fans anywhere near Atlanta, Georgia, which is an intersection in Deer Park. That's right. When the station asked me to check out Atlanta, Georgia, I figured, you know, a three-day trip, maybe the weekend, right? But no, no. This Atlanta, Georgia is only about a half an hour away from our studios. Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. Can someone explain how this intersection ended up in Deer Park, Texas? Honestly, I never thought about it until you just brought it up. Burke McCleary is no Braves fan, even though he lives in the shadow of Atlanta and Georgia in Deer Park. In fact, the whole area is a hotbed of Astros fans. How many of your neighbors do you think are Braves fans? Not me. Uh, matter of fact, they don't think you probably find one on the street. I mean, these are all diehard Texans and, and diehard Astro fans here. Not far from Atlanta, Georgia, we met Peggy Register, who is not supporting the Braves. So what about the corner of Atlanta and Georgia? What do you think about, what do you, what's going on there? I would hate to really say what's going on there. I've seen some signs put up. <laughs> In fact, after we brought this to Burke McClary's attention, he's starting to make some plans. Happen to have, have a friend that knows the mayor real well. So, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to definitely bring it up. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Mary's on the phone right now. Hey, let's face it. If the Braves, you know, don't have any fans on Atlanta and Georgia, then clearly the Astros are the better team when it comes to hometown support. My right? favorite yeah. part about this story is that you actually came up with this on your own, looking at a map with yeah. Atlanta. Oh, wait, there's Georgia, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I saw it was in Deer Park. I'm like, that's a home run. <laughs>